In Kenya, the ratio of mental health caregivers to the total population is about one to one million. And thinking specifically about youths, there are only two child and adolescent psychiatrists in the whole country. Given that caregivers for the most part live and work in urban areas, it makes it particularly difficult for youths living in rural and peri-urban settings to access the care that they need. This leads to mental health issues becoming more and more widespread. Rarely do you see schools, mental health professionals, and even treatment plants working together in a, in a well-coordinated way to, you know, to help alleviate mental illness symptoms. Shamiri means thrive in Kiswahili, and our mission at Shamiri Institute is to provide accessible and effective mental health interventions to enable young people to thrive. Over the past five years, we have developed and tested Anansi, a tiered lay psychotherapy model that allows youth to access quality care. In 2023, we are excited to be expanding our footprint to implement Anansi in rural areas of Western Kenya. The Kisum Hub was set up in October 22. Our hub is centrally located and it's surrounded by uh, various counties in the Western Kenya. We find that most of uh, we rural people are very disadvantaged in terms of such programs, which uh, are majorly found in urban areas, but they are also equally important to us. So how does Anansi work? The first element of Anansi is the Shamiri intervention, a simple, brief, group-based and stigma-free program delivered in high schools that has been shown to improve mental health by reducing depression and anxiety symptoms. The intervention combines three character strength components. The first teaches youths to adopt a growth mindset. So a growth mindset helps to instill the notion that personal attributes are actually malleable and can improve through effort rather than being fixed. The second component is developing the practice of gratitude in young people. So encouraging youths to find things to be grateful for in their everyday lives. In rural contexts, young people can often struggle to identify things to be grateful for and to appreciate. And this component of our intervention aims to turn this around. Finally, we help youths to identify their personal values. These are the foundational pieces that young people can draw on for decision making when faced with challenging circumstances, as youths often are as they navigate through high school. Shamiri intervention, the fact that it has strategies that target the core values of uh, the young people and the world around them, uh, it has been able to in infuse a spiral of positive attitude, thoughts and also beliefs. What I like specifically about the Shamiri intervention is that it uses lay providers who have minimal training in mental health to reach out to some of the marginalized communities that may otherwise have not had access to mental health. The second and most crucial element of Anansi is our three-tier caregiving model. So at the base of our model, we have youth lay providers that are high school graduates aged between 18 and 22 that deliver group-based sessions over four weeks after only 10 hours of training. They are supported by our clinical supervisors who provide clinical oversight and one-to-one -one psychotherapy where needed. Our supervisors can then triage to the last tier of our model, our local network of clinical psychologists and psychiatrists 
that provide robust support for youths that have more serious concerns. As a clinical supervisor, my role is to, to supervise and to empower fellows as they deliver the intervention. And also I, I work with students who have uh, severe mental health symptoms and I refer them to the clinical network, which is the top level in the, tier, uh, in the three tier model. And it's really encouraging to see young people who are motivated, who are willing to work for the well-being of other young people. Since I joined the program, I've had a great experience, especially getting to know new people, supporting the fellows, and also having a supportive team that is also passionate and we share, we have a common interest of helping adolescents and young people deal with their mental health challenges that they may be facing. I expect to see a lot of positive changes in terms of uh, uh, characters because they have undergone the intervention. I know they have acquired some of the positive characters that may be expected in them. And I believe that uh, it will also help them to handle the daily issues that they may be meeting and also know how to solve them. And because of this intervention, their performance, I also expect it to improve greatly. For a student that is taking this program, the Shamiri program, the future is big. So we rural students may also find the great advantages uh, that other urban students find. The work that we've been able to do in Kisumu wouldn't be possible without the backing of the Wellspring Philanthropic Fund. The fund promotes the effective advancement of human rights and social and economic justice for all. Our work in Kisumu adds to our evidence base as we aim to scale up Anansi to reach over a million youths, both in Kenya and across Sub-Saharan Africa by 2027. It's crucial that Adolescents and students in rural settings are not left behind by these mental health interventions. I really am passionate about youth and adolescents' mental health. I really desire a future whereby young people can do well, especially when it comes to their mental well-being here in low- and middle-income countries. I look forward to seeing more young people thrive through the Shamiri intervention. I've also been able to thrive just by being part of this program.